Beiten Burkhardt explains the Works Council under the German Shop Constitution Act. This is Paul. He's a chief human resource officer. Today, Paul's meeting Frank, the chairman of the Works Council, to discuss a dismissal hearing. Paul's assistant Linda is curious. Before the meeting, she wants to know what the Works Council is all about. If a Works has at least five employees, they can elect a Works Council. It represents the interests of all workers. Depending on the number of employees, the Works Council may have more than one member. They must be released from their regular duties in order to undertake the necessary tasks the role demands. Trustful cooperation between the employer and the Works Council is expected and essential. Unlike unions, the Works Council does not have a political mandate. It cannot call a strike. It has the right to information and consultation in respect of many matters. For example, in working practices or the planning of technical installations. In other areas, the employer expressly requires the consent of the Works Council. For example, with the definition of the beginning and end of a work shift, or the approval of overtime. As a rule, the procedure of co-determination is specified in a shop agreement. If the employer and the Works Council cannot agree, a mediation board will make a ruling. A neutral chairman may enforce that agreement. With drastic measures, mass redundancies for example, the employer will negotiate with the Works Council about the balancing of interests and the social plan. Within the social plan, among other things, the amount of the redundancy payments is stated. Again, here, an agreement may be enforced. The Works Council also has special privileges in respect of individual personnel matters. Its approval is required for appointments, promotions, and transfers. It must be consulted prior to a dismissal. And that's on Paul's agenda today. The pre-dismissal hearing process is formally and exactly defined, but it's still easy for mistakes to happen. To avoid this, Paul consults with his lawyer beforehand. Only then will he consult with Frank. Today is about a truck driver who has lost his driving license for a long period. The dismissal is well-founded and formally correct. The professionally prepared meeting quickly leads to a result. Frank will recommend to the Works Council that it does not lodge an objection. Paul and Frank even find the time to agree on the new shift planning and overtime rules.